Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers video. Now this is something slightly different and you might already know how to do this but I thought it was quite fascinating actually being I've never properly done anything with it and that is the green screen. Yeah so if you looked at my decoration video and the thumbnail of it you'll notice that the bed is overlapping everything and I did it via green screen doing this. Now it's probably fairly obvious if you have done green screen before but this is one of the first times I actually attempted it and it went surprisingly well considering all the little all the little details on all the blocks did not get picked up it was all erased properly. So yeah so if you wanted to make a green screen yourself you can do something similar you just make a little blocking area like this and then you would use the colors which is 115 100, 100, which make it a nice green colour. I did experiment a little beforehand and this one seems to work the best. And you'll also need to have a maximum intensity spotlight on the target at which you wish to make the green screen. And I'm using a little piston on top of a piston just to angle it so the light is directly on the object that I want. So when I lay on it and go into third person, third person? Come on third person, you can do this. Okay, third person is not going to happen, apparently. So you can take a screenshot like this. So I want to include my shadow in this. So if I... Like this. In fact, no. Let's not have a bed. Let's have a... Toilet. Let's get rid of the bed. And we are going to have a lovely... Red bottomed toilet. There we go. So if I was to get rid of my HUD. Sit on the toilet. Let's go third person. Oh, it's going to work now. So zoom, zoom, zoom. There we go. Nope, too far. Okay, it's a little bit buggy. So let's not sit on the toilet. We're going to take a picture of it so I can get my shadow on there. Nice. Look at that low quality shadow. I could go higher, but who cares? Let's take a screenshot of that. Boom. Thank you, Steam. That'll do nicely. And then if we go over to my editor... So here we are in my editor. This is Hit Film Express. You might have something different. I'm only using this because it's free and does a lot. So here we have our lovely little green screened image. And here we have a random screenshot I took a fairly long time ago because it had a funny face. Yeah, I know. So I have this on here and I'm just going to go to my effects. I'm typing green screen. You might have something different, but... Hit film comes with a green screen key, which I can just drag over the top. And uh, look, that is nearly perfect, don't you think? This is the media. That's the shadows. It's kind of odd. As you can see, this shadow over here is me on the corner of the blocks. Naturally, if you um, turn off shadows, you wouldn't have a problem. But a lot of the detail on the walls all around the floors, as you can see, have all disappeared. Because there's the line. There's the line. And there's only a tiny little bit of detail remaining. So you can basically just have a flying toilet if you so wish. Like that. Ooh, flying toilets. All right, and let's, let's just duplicate. Uh, duplicate. Uh, duplicate again. There you go. Now we've got tons of flying toilets with loads of black dots everywhere. But anyway, I hope this video was somewhat helpful to you. I mean... It's probably, like I said, fairly obvious if you've ever done green screening before. But still, if it's helpful, do leave a like and let me know if you want to see any other content like this. So, thank you for watching and I shall see you in another one. Bye bye.